Most of us in Southern Africa probably don't go more than a day or two without a porridge made from maize meal. Sadza Isichwala, as they call it in where I'm standing now in Matibeli Land North. And the unfortunate sad reality is that maize porridge isn't actually that good for us. You know, it is now the law in Zimbabwe that maize porridge must be artificially fortified because it's so devoid of nutrients naturally that we just don't get anything from it. Now the crazy thing about that is that we've got lots and lots of other plants that produce grains from Zimbabwe that are evolved and adapted in this climate that are much, much better for us. And this here is one of them. How's it guys, I'm Gus the African Plant Hunter. This is the next in my ongoing series on underutilized plants that I believe have huge potential as crops of the future. And I'm sure most of you at least recognize this one. This is pearl millet previously known as Penicetum glaucum, now called Centrus Americanus. Uh, it's Munga or Inyawuti in this area in Matabili Land North. An absolutely delicious grain. Used very similarly to maize, pounded into or ground into uh, a meal, cooked as a porridge. Uh, there are many different dishes. It's also made into a beverage, mahiwo. Uh, if you leave it for a bit longer, it becomes an alcoholic beverage, uh, a very nice traditional beer, seven days. And uh, around this part, one of the uh, interesting uses of it is it, it's made into a porridge mixed with the fruit of the Bakimia discolor called the munyi or the bird plum. And that gives quite a tangy flavor mixed into these round balls and then these balls can be kept for quite some time to sustain hunters when they're off hunting in the bush or people working hard out in the fields. Really tasty, really different. It's often also mixed with peanut butter. Uh, that's another traditional dish. Of course, it's found all over Africa, also found in Asia. And very much uh, sought after today around the world because not only of its nutritional profile but the one thing that it has that many other grains don't have it's completely free of gluten so if you're celiac disease gluten intolerant this is absolutely the one for you now the bizarre and extraordinary thing i'm standing here at a field in mat north very dry part of the country and people here often growing maize. You can see around me there's a bit of maize mixed in with the millet. But the honest truth is maize is much, much harder to grow. It takes a lot of time and effort to produce. You're always on the lookout for the army worm. You probably need to put some fertilizer in these soils. This one is way easier. It grows really straightforward, almost no effort, direct seeding in the ground, pretty much no fertilizer, a little bit of manure, and uh, absolutely no need for any chemicals in the pest management. And it just astounds me that people continue to plant maize in areas where this would grow because it's just so much better for you. I think consumer tastes are changing. Of course, that's been the problem. We all like our sadza from Mealy Meal, but people are starting to wake up, particularly if you're diabetic, hypertension, high blood pressure. You've probably been told at some point by your doctor that you should be looking for whole grains. This is the absolute king, queen, and prince of whole grains, and it naturally occurs right here in Zimbabwe. So guys, this is my top tip to you. If you're looking for an underutilized plant, there was the one historically that we all consume pretty much every day, but we've most of us forgotten about. Check this out, go find it. It's there in the supermarket. Just look for it and if you substitute your maize meal with this millet meal, you'll find it is far, far superior over time and you're going to be a much healthier person. All right, guys, that's me. I'm out to check out some other underutilized plants and share them with you. If you liked it, you can go and find me on YouTube, Instagram or Facebook, African Plant Hunter. Just type that in, hit subscribe and you'll be alerted as soon as my next video comes out. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm off to check out some other plants. I will catch you later. Take it easy. Bye.